Well, today's an exciting time for Discovery Place Nature. We are harvesting our very first honey. So as you can see here, we're taking the honey supers, the smaller boxes, off the top of the hive, which is where the bees have stored honey. On top of that small box, you see what's called a fume hood, which is a, a basically a top that has an absorbent cloth underneath that we spray uh, a natural chemical to drive the bees out because we can't harvest the honey with bees in it. So we're putting that fume hood on the next one. Then you're gonna see us take a blower and blow the rest of the bees out. So once we blow those bees out, we're gonna take that super and we're gonna run it inside real quickly to our extraction room. And that's where the fun begins because that's where we're gonna extract the honey. And like I said, it's important to make sure we get it there as quickly as possible because we don't wanna have any bees in there with us. A full frame of, of honey is heavy, but it is a beautiful sight. And you can look here and see all that is capped honey. I mean, that is beautiful capped honey right there. And I like the fact that it's so pretty and white because a lot of people will harvest also the wax cappings after we remove it. Now in order to get the honey out, of course, we gotta cut the caps off and you'd never believe it, but this is Erin's first time and she's doing a fantastic job, but we're using a hot knife. And when we use this hot knife, it just cuts through that wax and the wax falls off and we lose a little bit of honey into the box, but we're gonna filter that out later and extract that as well. But what we do is we do it and then we spin it and we cut the other caps off and then we run them straight to the extractor. You know, sometimes you get that honey and it doesn't have a cap on it. And if it doesn't have a cap, it's called uncapped honey. And it may be the viscosity that we need, but we have to test it. This is a digital refractometer. Basically what we're doing is we're measuring the percentage of sugar, water, things like that. But we're measuring, basically it would be the specific gravity of it. But we're looking to see it has to be 18% or close, like 17 and a half, 18% to be honey. If it's got more water than we need, that water can actually cause the honey to ferment and that's not what we want to do. So once we've actually determined that it is the right viscosity, we're going to put it in the extractor. And like I said, things have come a long way from uh, putting it into a little barrel and crushing it and squeezing or in a gauze bag and squeezing out the honey because you wasted a lot of honey uh, doing that. Nowadays, we're fully mechanized. So this is an extractor and not only do we not have to crank it by hand, it's motorized. So we put the frames in there we make sure the honey gate is open, and then we have to start off spinning the frames. Now that's, this actually extractor holds eight frames. So we'll put eight frames in there and start off slowly. And then as the honey comes out, we'll gradually speed it up. If we start off too fast, the foundation that we use has wires running through it, but it'll completely collapse the frame. And then all we'll be doing is just collecting wax and the honey's still in it, which is a big waste. And as you can see here, the extractor is running pretty fast. So we're getting some honey and that honey goes into an inverted cone at the bottom, and then it comes out of the honey gate, this little spout right here. And then the only thing that we're gonna do to that honey is all we're gonna do is filter it. Uh, that sure, that's the way we're gonna make sure that there's gonna be just pure honey goodness coming through there. It's gonna filter out bits of wax. Sometimes, of course, you get other little bits of trash and stuff, but it's gonna filter it out and we're gonna have beautiful honey. And then once we filter it out, we're gonna bottle it. And here you can see our very first bottle of honey.